So you have come across the issue of your VM not connecting to the internet. And apparently you're using OVH and you have purchased the additional IP and uh, you're stuck pretty much, right? You are unable to connect it to the internet. Well, let's not uh, stretch this video and let's get right into the solution. It's going to be pretty easy. So open your Proxmox and there are start following the steps as I'm going to do. So first of all, uh, we're going to go and see in the, in our, in our uh, node that we have this setup. So this is going to be your Proxmox IP address right here with the Proxmox gateway, which is perfect. What you're going to want to do is you don't need to create a new virtual, uh, sorry, Linux bridge. Open your node and create a new VM. So as I have a couple of VMs running, like, let's just say that you have created a new VM right here. You went there, you, you did all this stuff. You named it perfectly, you gave it OS, you know, network and all that stuff. Oh. By the way, when you're giving it network, you're not going to, well, it doesn't really matter what network you give it, right? Because we're not going to be running this exact VM that you created. So it doesn't really matter. Once you have this uh, VM created, just right click on it and click convert to template, right? There you go. Bing bong. That's all. We don't need this uh, VM that we created anymore. Now well, that you have this template, you can name it whatever you want, however you want. You go to the hardware and you click add because initially you're not going to see cloud in it drive or whatever, right? So you go to the hardware, you click add, you click cloud in it drive, right? Once you do that, you will see this right here and you'll be able to access it via this, this section right here. Now, this is very important. You're going to want to set up the user, keep it default, doesn't really matter. You're going to want to set the password, uh, set the password, which you're going to be using to access this VM. It's up to you. Doesn't really matter what password you set. Just make sure to remember it. DNS domain, you can ignore this. However, DNS servers, you go ahead edit. You set up the host 8.8.8.8, 1.1.1.1, .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 or just leave it at blank because I would like to believe that you have set up your DNS server right here, right? So there you just leave me, leave it as use host setting, leave it as use host setting. Now SSH public key, if you have a public key that uh, you have created using party gen on your PC, just add it right here. And, uh, another one is the one that you're going to be generating from the node shell right here. And you're going to be using uh, that key. Or here, you can add multiple keys here if you want. Upgrade package, yes. Now, very, very important step. Here, you click edit. I'm not going to show you these IPs, but I'll tell you what's going to happen. In the IPv4 section, just click static. Keep it static. You don't want to change it. For IPv6, keep it static as well. Leave these two sections blank. Now, right here, in the IPv4 slash CITR section, write your additional IP address and write the CITR. So that's going to be your subnet. So you're going to want to put slash 24. That's going to represent that you have 256 uh, unique IP addresses that, that you can use with this IP. But that's not that we're going to talk about right now. We, what we're going to talk about is the internet connectivity issue. So you put your IP right here. And for the gateway, you must be confused. What gateway do I put here? So whatever your IP address is, take the first four, uh, sorry, first three sections of your IP address. And in the end, put dot two, five, four. There you go. Click OK. Click OK. Right click on this. Clone this. Keep it linked, clone, name it, whatever you want, do all that stuff. Now, 
there's one additional and final step that you would need to do in order to get the internet connection. So you're going to want to go to your newly created VM, go to the hardware, and right here you see the network device. You click on the network device, click edit, and right here in the MAC address, you write the MAC address that you generated in OVEdge. Just make sure when you generate the MAC address in the OVH additional IP section, you use the OVH format, right? So just copy that and paste it right here and click OK. Restart your OEM. If you haven't started, then start it. Bro, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do in order to get the internet connection on your VM without doing any manual tweaking or all that stuff using the console. So I hope this video helped you out a little bit. If it did, please give me a like. And if you really like my video, subscribe. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. But thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.